So you won't see monarch butterflies in Iowa this time of year because they're actually a kind of tropical butterfly, which means they can't survive the winter temperatures in Iowa. So they actually migrate south to Mexico. So you can see in our Magic Monarchs exhibit in Pollinator Paradise a map of their migration. So the main part of North American monarch butterflies will go south and will overwinter in the oil mill forests outside of Mexico City. Now there is a, a western population that does overwinter in a variety of different colonies throughout uh, California as well as kind of the Baja Peninsula. But the vast majority of them uh, end up going south and staying in Mexico. Now there are also a population that actually don't migrate because they live in southern Florida in that area and they have perfect temperatures year round. So those uh, butterflies have a little bit less of a job to do. Uh, but our main ones have that great migration that leads them all the way to Mexico. Now a lot of us know that, but don't know why they go to Mexico. So basically there are these forests that are full of fir trees that in the volcanic region of the mountains and they um, actually create what's called a microclimate. So they're really high up um, but they are the perfect mixture of low temperatures, which actually keeps the monarchs a little less active over the winter and helps them to preserve their lipid or their fat stores. And it also has just the perfect amount of moisture um, so that they uh, don't get too wet, but they also don't dry out. Um, and then it has really nice protection. So the forest fir trees, the shrubs, um, they all kind of create a protective barrier so that if the weather does come in and there's snow or rain that it protects the monarchs really, really well. Um, and then it keeps them at about exactly the right temperature all winter. So monarchs will go there and they will be in thousands in these colonies. There's about 12 colonies throughout that area of monarch butterflies. And they usually stay you know, on a, a one branch or one tree and the oil mill trees are strong enough to be able to hold them. Although I read that sometimes the branches do break because the monarchs in thousands do get a little bit heavy. Um, but it just creates kind of the perfect microclimate for our butterflies over the winter. And then those butterflies will be that first generation of monarchs that go north in the spring. So about the March time frame, they will start heading north. They will go into reproduction mode. They will lay eggs about the Mexico-Texas border. And then those generations will start. Again, it takes about four to six generations of monarchs to make it all the way to their northernmost uh, breeding grounds before they go back south again for the winter. So monarch butterflies are a really, really unique creature and we're excited to see them again come spring. But for now, enjoy the winter. Come out to the Dickinson County Nature Center and take a look at our brand new Pollinator Paradise Edition.